In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the compound annual growth rate using your HP12C financial calculator. And we'll start by looking at some definitions. Each of these um, acronyms appear on your financial calculator, so we need to know what these mean. So we've got PMT, which stands for payment. So if you were getting dividends, you would be looking to use this function. You've got your present value, which is how much you're investing or borrowing now. Uh, future value is what this is going to be worth or cost you in the future. So this takes account of all the interest charged or payments made and compounding. So N is your compounding periods. Typically this will be years or months or something along those lines depending on the frequency of payments or interest. And I is usually used as the interest rate but in our case this is what's going to give us the compound annual growth rate. So essentially we're doing a time value of money type calculation and solving for I. Um, the formula for the compound annual growth rate is as shown. You could do this on a scientific calculator. So you've got your future value divided by the present value to the power of 1 over years. So this is a sort of root um, and then you're subtracting 1 from that. It's important to note that there is a sign convention that we have to follow. Um, if you don't, you'll get very strange answers. So investments or outflows, so when money is going away from you, we're treating this to be negative. And inflows, you're going to have positive cash flow. So if you're investing $100, your present value will be minus $100. But if you're borrowing $100, the present value is going to be positive $100. When you're borrowing money, money is coming to you. You're getting that money now. Whereas payments made on that debt will be negative because that money is going away from you. So let's look at doing an example. So we're going to find the compound annual growth rate of Berkshire Hathaway, which is the company famously associated with Warren Buffett. And the track record of the company is quite outstanding, and you'll see when we do the calculation. So we're going to find the compound annual growth rate between 1980 and 2014. So in August 1980, Berkshire shares were around $380 per share, and by August 2014, they were $200,000 per share. This is the Berkshire A shares. And during this period, the shareholders didn't get any dividends. So that simplifies the calculation somewhat. If you did have dividends, you would simply have to sum all of the dividends, take into account the compounding of them being reinvested, and then that would change your um, future value significantly. You know the maths of compounding. So present value, we've got minus 380, because it's an investment. We're buying one share of Berkshire for 380. So 380 is going away from us. The future value is what this share is going to be worth in the future. Remember, no dividends. So that's 200,000. As we've got no dividends, we can put payments equal to zero. And we've got 34 years, which is... Uh, 2014 and uh, we're subtracting 1980 away from it and we get 34 when you do that. So let's do this calculation using the calculator. This is um, simple to do. I'll show you it here. So take our values in our table and insert them. So we'll start with 380. Don't use the minus key. Instead of using minus Q use this CHS that changes the sign makes it minus. Store that in present value. Then we're going to put in 200,000. Notice how it's got this nice comma, so it makes it a lot easier to input. And we're going to save that into FV, future value. We're going to put in zero and put that into payments. Notice how we put the number in first and then put in the memory. That's important. So we're doing 34, then putting that into N. So we've now got all of the data we need to solve this problem and simply by pressing um, I, the calculator will solve for the compound rate which will be required to produce that future value in that period um, with that present value. So press I and the calculator does all of that calculation and gets 20.24%. So that is the compound annual growth rate of Berkshire Hathaway between 1980 and 2014. That's a very, very impressive investment track record. So hopefully that's shown you how to do this calculation. 
and thank you for watching.